Hey folks, it's Eric from Eric's DJ Services with another video of DJ advice from my car. And uh, today's topic, we're going to talk about since we're in January and uh, pretty much the D's, DJing season around here is pretty much done. I do have one more um, uh, DJing gig to go. Uh, next Saturday, I'm in Toledo doing a DJing and anniversary party. But for the most part, you know, New Year's Eve around here is pretty much the end of the wedding season. Sometimes you'll get some private stuff, you know, whatever, but for the most part, the wedding season's over. So what does a DJ to do? <laughs> well, there's a lot to do, actually. And um, I do have a list. I don't have the list with me, but I do have a little bit of a list of things that DJs should do on the off-season. And the number one, or number one in a way to do, is uh, get new music together. Get new music. Uh, wh wherever you get your new music, whether it's Apple Music, or I get my music from a company called IDJ Pool. Um, it's paid, I pay for it. Um, get new music together. Uh, because, you know, you want to be very proud that you can get to the music before anybody else does. All right? Um, because, People still listen to the radio, and radio is going to play the latest hits. So you want to get on your DJ pools and uh, start downloading those songs because um, you're going to be called on it. So definitely want to get your music together. Another thing you want to do, number two, is clean your equipment. Our equipment over time, over the summer, can get very dirty, very dusty. Um, we play everywhere. Mobile DJs, we play absolutely everywhere. Everywhere we play in. Hall, big halls, small halls, outside, barns, roofs, you know, we, we play everywhere, man. We really, really do. So number two is you definitely want to clean your equipment. Um, a clean equipment is, is a better working equipment. Um, the last thing you want is your equipment to go down, you know, in the middle of a show. So, so make sure that uh, you clean your equipment. Um, number three is uh, start uh, contacting your clients that are uh, that you have hired or that they have hired you sorry uh, make sure that you guys are on the same page make sure that uh, you know if there are any uh, changes if there are any additions uh, make sure that uh, you know you're, you're still going to the same venue that the venue hasn't changed um, just make sure that you know you just contact the clients and say hey for example, it's Eric's. Hey, it's Eric from Eric DJ Services. Just check it in, see how the wedding planning is going. Um, you never want to leave your clients thinking that you're just not going to contact them and then show up the day of. Um, so contact your clients. Uh, make sure everything is okay. Um, another thing you want to do is you want to uh, make sure you get your paperwork together. Um, I give out what's called uh, DJ wedding planner sheets. I usually give them a month. I usually take, give them out a month before each wedding. Um, just basically, it's a planning sheet uh, where the brides and grooms can put down everything they want me to know from A to Z. Um, on there is also where they can put their first dances, um, any song requests, and of course, like I always say, a do not playlist. Uh, get those sheets together now. Um, I say give them out a month before their weddings. I mean, you can do it anytime you want. But uh, the sheets that I have are very, very detailed. It asks my bride and groom a lot of questions so that I know exactly what I need to be, what I actually need to do the day of. So you want to get those sheets together. Those are basically, those. I mean, sorry, those are basically the things that uh, you need to do right now because we're in the off season. It gets you prepared. It gets you in the mindset of a busy season, which I hope you are having a busy season. Uh, this season uh, is pretty busy for me. Um, might be a little bit less than last year, but not by much. I'm telling you that right now, not by much. I'm taking a lot of inquiries right now. People are getting on the ball, and they're even getting on the ball for 2024, which, you know, which is great. I tell clients, it's never too early to book your DJ. Never, never too early. Anyway, folks, that's it for today. It's a very short one, but a very important one. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button 
And if you are watching on YouTube again, like I just said, <laughs> just repeated myself, um, hit the like button as well. Anyway, folks, as I always say, till next time, keep that music spinning. Peace.